Yes, we're gonna get into it. Game one, around. Battlefield. Yep. yep. Classic start. Yeah. yeah. So everyone knows. Everyone's seen acts against Thakas like Mango or Species in general. Um, we know that like after watching acts, you would think this matchup like isn't that bad, right? Yeah. But honestly, after playing from the Falco's end against like some unranked Pikachu's, I do feel like Falco just like has all the tools to just destroy Pikachu. And so it's crazy that. Pikachu's even a little... I feel like it's more like all the tool to destroy Pikachu and that one tool is laser. And, and down air. That's true. You know, you can just kind of... Falco loves just... If he wants you, you can just retreating down air and yeah. stuff most characters' approaches. Most that's low, just what, mid to low That's approaches. just what Bones is doing. He loves his lasers and retreating down airs. But he gets a grab and... Pretty close so far. Oh, my oh gosh, the charge F smash calling it around. out yep. that nair approach and... Gets the stock as a result. Oh, Whoa, what the that was Peter cancel? That was crazy. That was yeah. Okay, um, calling out the tech right there, and now we are at three stocks apiece. Yeah, down smash, great way for Pikachu to rack up percent. Uh, at low percent, so just kind of maybe start a combo. Bones STIing it well, I think. And getting a combo of his own started now. Yeah, misses an up tilt though, and gets tire of his chance to start his own combo. Oh, oh my misses god. The, misses the. I was not happy about that. Yeah, this is like. This is one of the issues with Box Pikachu is that you have so little time to hit those ankles, and it's very difficult to. But he does get that charge up smash, and we are seeing an even game again. Something I really like from Bones' play over these past two sets is how, for the most part, he's content to just kind of stay back and not force an approach. And he's not really giving his opponents free openings as a result. He's making them work for it a little bit harder. Oh, uh, Bones tries to catch, the, catch oh. him with the dare, but it doesn't work. Arsif gets that camp. Yeah, the shine stall was a good attempt to try and get around that timing, but that down air was a little bit hopeful. All right, I think Arsif can survive from this. Yes, he can. And, but Bones... Tries to follow him through, but it just doesn't work. It's Pikachu is real far up. Yeah, runs under the Thunder's ult there to try and get a hit on Tyler Swift. Just kind of boxing out right now, getting him stuck by the ledge, not letting him get stage positioning. Yeah. Not letting him play comfortably, just forcing him to keep recovering. Ooh, I'm, I think he probably missed that angle or something like that. Yeah, we see these just auto cancel back here, just trying to keep Pikachu out, stuff him out. Not let him in, not give him what he wants. Tyler Swift, on the other hand, looking for these up airs to try and get uh, like, some kind of follow up like that. Yeah, he's just sharking for combos, and it's working. That's a great situation. Uh -oh. oh, roll in, that's interesting. Might be a misinput. And maybe he was expecting the, like, the uh, attack get him to go the other way, like right then left. And I really like those lasers by Bones just now to hit Pikachu on his second zip and just force him to keep edge guarding. Oh. But, yep, Tyler Swift able to close out game one. Nice little combo. Yeah, now we've got... Uh, we're going to get Bones' counterpick. And probably counterpick Yoshi's, right? Probably. You're the Falco player. I'm going to make uh, you do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have the most Pikachu experience, but I would assume Yoshi's makes a lot of sense here. Um, yeah. 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 Falcos love Yoshis. Especially against Pikachu. Yeah, those early kills are nice. Oh, if, I think if Tyson didn't... I think he messed up that angle, because he definitely could have gotten a punish if he didn't. He didn't get the landing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, jumps over the um, get-up attack. And oh, up. Randall, Randall helps him, and... Slide off up, he almost saves him, but Bones does get ledge. That's like... Really impressive Bones to recognize that he that Tyler Swift has those slide up uppies in his back pocket. If he did not know that, he would not have grabbed Edge. Oh, not able to get the right hitbox of that up air, trying to keep him off stage. Yeah, again, just not quite getting the hitbox he wants on these edge guards. If he could do up air, it's not that hard to understand, wow. and it looks like he got, get, got the stock. It's not that Bones, hard. I was going for another hard call out there at that forward smash. Multiple times this set. Sarsip doesn't quite manage to space past these like laser dares and as approaches. And 
That's another stock. Yeah, Falco will smash one of those moves. Or just like, when you're first starting out, you shouldn't be just like ripping it randomly. But once yeah. you get like good enough and you start mixing it in there, it's a great mix-up option. Oh, oh, shine off the top, not quite. Oh, is that a a thunder stall I see? I have no clue. Oh, shine <laughs> off the top does kill this time, though. And this is looking like Bone's game right now. Pretty used to the air dodge here to get around those jabs. Oh, good gimp from Tyler Swift. Just really trying to scoop him with this, these up airs. Is he going to complete this edge guard? Not yeah, quite. able to live since he was high enough there. The question is, can Bones get back to center stage and get back to neutral? And he can, he's going to get a punish. I mean, this certainly isn't out of the question for Tyler Swift, but getting this kill off Bones is going to be difficult. Not only because, like, you know, Falcon is better than Pikachu, but also the way Bones is playing makes it looks it just looks like it's so hard to get straight hits in. Ooh, almost gets that smash, but gets just barely clipped by that bear. They're not going to reach on the platform. Alright. Okay, we're at one stock apiece, actually about 130, but this is a Pikachu. They... Yeah. Never okay. mind. <laughs> yep. Classic. <laughs> you can always hope. Mm -hmm. And so I assume we just go straight to FD here. Yeah, I yeah. really don't see any other option. Because FD's just so good as Pikachu against any uh, against species. Mm -hmm. like, Fastball is in general, really. Yeah, because that... Right now. You have so many frames to hit and that. And Tyler Swift already has a grab. Is he going to get yeah. a free grab? Not quite. But yeah, generally on Pikachu, you have so many frames to get that chain grab. It's like... It's such an easy chain grab. It's, it's just, just such it's a definitely not stage. a very intensive chain grab. <laughs> oh, nice hitbox yeah. on the up. I thought that was going to go up, I'm going to be honest. But, Do you know PG's hitbox is like that? Uh, Yeah, it's like based on what part of the tail it gets hit. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, if it's... If you get hit by, like, the inside part of the tail, like, closer to Pikachu's, like, guess, like, back, then it sends up. But towards the top, you got either get sent left or right. Okay, makes sense. There's only three, right? Yeah. I know P Pikachu mains hate when commentators are like, oh, there's a billion different hitboxes on Pikachu's up, uh, up yeah, air. There's only three that <laughs> There's only three. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, towards like the next, the very tip of the tail, they go, they can go backwards and then the rest of the tail is just forward. But yeah, that's neither here nor there at the moment. And I don't just get the first, his first stock. And this is kind of how we expect these FD games to go, right? Tyler yeah. Swift just kind of getting these grabs, these small openings, and just converting huge, huge punishes. Yeah. Tyler Swift sending in some of his projectiles of his own, and it looks like he's going to get another gimp. It's a really smart use of jab there to just interrupt Falco from coming up. Yeah, it's just such it's a, a good tool from Pikachu. Just yeah. He can throw out so many. Classic Pikachu, it's great tool. Not to mention Tyler Swift has a box so I can just oh, key this is a that key. nice combo from Bones. It really is. A lot is. of damage. You know, Falco's like, combos on, everyone knows about Falco's combos on fast fallers and even on, like, Marth and Sheik, but his uh, his combos on, like, mid-tiers and mid-weights is actually better than people think. Yeah, that's... Him, like, Bones knowing those combos, though, is already really impressive. Oh, nice shine there. Oh, good wait from Taller Swift to get back on stage. Nice CC grab. Gonna get another edge guard situation. Oh, but uh, this Bones time is dead. Yeah, gets hit by the second zip, and I think that's what he was trying to avoid last time by rolling up a little bit earlier. Yeah. And I'm assuming he tried to adapt there and roll a little bit later, try and cover that timing, but didn't quite work out for him. Now, Herschel, let's pretend like you're better at the game and you're Bones right now. What would you be? What would you be thinking right now? Because Tyler Swift is, he, he's two one. He's up two one. He still has Fountain in his pocket. Like, yeah, well, if you, you win got a game. FD out of the way, right? That's true. And if you're a player with his bones, you don't let a two-one lead is nothing, right? Like that's just one game. That's true. And all this means is that if Bones wins on his counter pick, he just has to play on Fountain, most likely game five, which is a completely doable situation. It's so true, I don't think Bones like, is out of this by any means. That's true, but Fountain historically, as Pikachu against fast fallers, has not really been great for for the fast fallers, especially in terms of game one. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> the worst. <laughs> Okay, 
in a pretty even game, though. But yeah, Bones definitely not out of this by any means. Oh, good down smash, but Tower Swift like, DI's in such a way where he can just get hit, he can hit the ground with a sage oh. attack. Oh. Fortune misses the ledge dash at the same time, Bones actually misses the wave dash. Kill. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Three stocks apiece, and now we're on fire stage. I miss Frozen Stadium. Me too. I miss it so much. Frozen Stadium was just better. I thought I missed regular Stadium after seeing this <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> oh. I thought I was just trying to break our ears real quick. And thankfully, Bones interrupts it. <laughs> I yeah. mean, this is why I, don't, I miss Frozen Stadium. They're at, like. Most of the time, you're just not going to interact. There's no reason, like, to camp on Frozen Stadium. Like, if you camp on regular Stadium, like, I don't like it, but I get it, right? Like, sometimes you have to camp. But you don't really have a reason to do that on Frozen Stadium. There's no reason for either player to really jump over the other side right now. And now we're back to Frozen Stadium. Er, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Usual. Regular Stadium. Regular Stadium. Oh, this combo, though. Not a lot of percent because it's Pikachu, but it is a combo. Yeah. Easy clean up there. Yes. Oh, Again, toss up using that wave dash and down smash to try and get something started. And Bones is just okay. throwing out a lot of lasers. He's really trying to prevent Tyrus from getting anything started here. Almost gets the right hitbox at the up air, but it's a little too far and gets the back hitbox instead. Just... Tech cases are good for Tyre Swift. Oh, that was a great just string of events right there for Tyre Swift. And Bones is now on his tournament stock. Yeah, he's going to have to dig deep and make something happen. Yeah, that's not easy to do against Pikachu. Especially, you know, Tyre Swift, too. You know, in fairness, if you are Bones, you all now have the, the ultimate John. Some guy's using a stupid box. <laughs> and while well, well, Yurt is mid jokes about boxes, Tyler Swift is going to take it 3 1 over Bones to win Xanadu 4 17? I think so, 4 17. So. Congratulations yeah. to uh, Tyler Dan Swift. You know, uh, he's Dan to me. I just know him like that. You're the worst. <laughs> Why am I commentating with you? I'm out of here. Good night, chat. Have a good one.